day three of Monster High unboxings. Today I am opening up another Skultimate Secrets doll. We are opening up the Skultimate Secrets Laguna Blue. I'm so excited to open her. She is my first Laguna. Yeah, I don't think I don't have Laguna yet. So she is going to be my first one. And I am in love. If you missed my other two reviews, I did Frankie and also Claudine and those videos are before this if you'd like to check them out I'll have them in a playlist for you guys But today we're opening up the Laguna Blue Skultimate Secrets. These are brand new from Monster High They are not out in stores yet. You can't get them on Amazon Walmart Target or anything yet I was lucky enough to snag them up from Paul's Mart I want to thank Zombie Corn, who is an amazing doll YouTuber here on YouTube. He posted that he snagged his up on Paul's Mart. I immediately went to the website and I was able to get four out of the five. I didn't get Dragulaura, which was like super bummer because of course she was the one I wanted the most, but I will get her. So it was, it's fine. It's, it's fine. So these retail for $30 when they do come out. However, Paul's Mart did charge $39.99. So basically these are like, you get a doll, a play set, you get little surprises, you kind of get like that type of like LOL surprise type theming going on, which Monster High really hasn't done before. I don't know if they did it in G2. Honestly, I don't know much about G2. I kind of skipped on G2, so I apologize if they did anything like this in the past. But basically, this is a playset. It has these lockers that you unlock. Each one has surprises in them. You have 125 plus looks that you can create, 19 plus surprises, and there is a color changing aspect to this set. It comes with little keys, basically, that you just put in warm water and they change colors. I'm very excited about Laguna because this is my first G3 Laguna. I don't have the original one that came out yet. I didn't pick her up. She just wasn't my favorite, so I was like, oh, I can wait on her for a little bit. But this one, look at this box art. I mean, if the doll looks anything like close to this, I'll be thrilled. And here is the back of the box. So we have the other ghouls. We have Claudine, Draculaura, Frankie, and Cleo. Cleo will be the last one that we'll be opening and I will be opening her up tomorrow for you guys. But let's go ahead and get Laguna out of the box and see what all she comes with. So it's really easy to open. It just is slipped inside this little sleeve. I will save the artwork though. And so as you can see, Laguna has like this kind of teal green locker situation with pink, um, aqua, this pretty like periwinkle color, and then a hot pink compartment. Um, Frankie's had blue and Claudine's had purple. So the first one that you open is the doll. Hello. So let's go ahead and look inside and see. So there she is, very cute. Let me take a look, I can't see on camera. Yeah, she's super cute. She's so pink, it's definitely an adjustment for me to see Laguna as a pink character. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm an OG fan. I love my blue Laguna, Laguna blues, but I like her new story and I like I like that they changed her up. She's really adorable. I feel like she looks a little more juvenile than some of the other dolls. I don't know what it is about her. She gives me, she gives off like junior high vibes, but still adorable. So on the inside of her locker, it's just like the other ghouls here, all her favorite things. We have a picture right here with Laguna, Gulia, and Frankie. It says best booze forever. And then we come down here to this or that for Laguna's favorite things. So we have like little goldfish crackers or this is like a pop tart. She chose goldfish crackers, obviously. I'm not really sure, like this is like, I don't know. It's like space or earth. I don't know. She chose earth. I don't know. Journaling or swimming, she chose both. And then for her drink, we have 
for her drink we have like this tropical drink or cherry juice and she chose the tropical drink and then we come down here she's got this picture of her it looks like she's like at prom or something um oh, what's her boyfriend's name it's not finnegan right that's the other that's the other guy what's her boyfriend's name i forget gil gil i think that's his arm um, and then we have another picture with friends of Frankie and Cleo, her little pet fish, and then her birthday. So Laguna's birthday is June 10th. So then inside this compartment, you get the instructions basically for like the water or uh, for the ch color changing aspect. And then you also get a key back here. So you get a black key, which can change color in the water. And with these keys, you can use the same key for each compartment. You don't have to, you know, color change all of them and use the corresponding ones if you don't want to, but you can. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the first little compartment. It's pink. And inside we get our first surprise. So Laguna's bags are green and she has like this heart with these like gills on it and little question marks. So usually the first bag is like the outfit. Cute! Oh, the key's already pink. No color change. Okay, so we get a key. We get a jacket. This is interesting. It's very, um, so the thing about Laguna, like especially, okay, these sleeves are funny. Um, Especially like with the the new G3 release of like the the base doll Her outfit is very like Junior to me not not even junior like justice like preteen to me, which I wasn't a huge fan of some of the pieces um, Like I said like so the sleeves are like I really like the material. It's like this cool shiny holographic material the sleeves are meant to look like basically like fish it's this blue color and then we have like this little heart on the front of the jacket right here. Her little t-shirt's super cute. This is adorable. So we have a little green t-shirt and it says surf on it and then the sleeves are like this white fishnet material. And then the skirt, I actually really like this skirt. I think it's super cute but it is very thin like it's see-through. It's very thin material. But I like the design on this skirt. It's like hibiscus flowers. I love that. It's very beachy. So hot pink skirt with these cute little hibiscus, this cute little blue bow, and we have like these little ribbon details in the front of the skirt. Okay, so let's open up compartment number two. Second bag is a bigger bag. Again, same pattern on the bags and they're paper, which I appreciate much easier to open. So I think each doll comes with a hat. So Laguna has a baseball hat. So she's very sporty and it's like it's made out of a molded plastic. It's like a transparent blue color with the green in the front and then you have like this like fish scale, fish bones type of picture on the front. Another key. And then her little accessories, so I think her earrings and necklace. So her earrings are these little pink earrings. I think that they're hibiscus flowers to match the skirt. And they're both the same. And then the necklace is eh. It's okay. It's just basic, like a basic silver collar type necklace. And it's got like a shark's tooth on it, which is cool. I like that. And then the, like this is like a drippy, it looks kind of like blood. Okay, let's open up the third compartment. We get an even bigger bag. These are the shoes. Oh, these are cute. So you get the key ring. This comes in all of the doll sets. Um, this is just a little key ring that you can pop open and you can put all of your different keys on it. That's Pretty cute, convenient if you want to keep them all together. So these shoes are pretty cool. They look like they might glow in the dark. Mm, maybe not. 
but they kind of they kind of give off that I think they might actually I don't know we can try it but they're like a clear and then the soles of the shoes are like waves of water I think those are really cool just like a really cool like chunky sneaker okay and then let's open up the last compartment there we go I think this is her food items so Laguna comes with some organic gummies little fish gummies I love the details on the new food packaging on these that they've been putting in with all of the new Monster High dolls. I think it's super cute. And then she has some coconut water. I think it's coconut water, just as coconut. Coconut juice or coconut water with a little skullette on the front. And then this is probably one of my favorite food pieces. It's like a sushi roll. How cute is that? Okay, so Laguna is out of the box, and she's so pretty. Her hair is actually really soft. So I'm thinking, Saran, am I right? Let me know. I don't know, but her hair is soft. It's very nice. I do actually like that. I think after a quick little wash, a little boil maybe, just to straighten out the ends, her hair is going to be really pretty. It is a little thin, though. Her hair is a little bit thinner than... Frankie and Claudine's hair but still really nice I like the way that it lays I get like I love this like middle part it definitely gives like I don't know 70s so as you can see Laguna has pink skin and it's very like bright pink um, turquoise eyebrows we have the little printing of like the scales on her forehead her hair, she definitely, she has some purple, she has some teal and blonde in her hair. Laguna has like hazel eyes, and then her makeup is really pretty. It's like a turquoise and pink makeup with a really cool turquoise lip. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I do get like the fishy vibe from her. So I guess, you know, it works. And of course, I love her little freckles. So cute. So for her outfit, it's like this top right here. It's like a little tank top with this ruffled collar. It's different. It's interesting. I don't know if I love it yet. I think I will love it actually with the skirt. Because this top matches this skirt. I think I will like it better. Um, and then she has on these really cute little simple black shorts with fish scales on them. For her shoes, we've got these, these shoes are cool. These shoes are very interesting and they definitely give me like G1 vibes for, I say vibes a lot. <laughs> um, for the shoes, they're really cool. Like, the, look at these shoes. Hold on a second. They're octopus wrapped around her feet. Okay, like if they can make shoes this interesting, like they can do it for every character. Because some of the, the new G3 dolls, some of the shoes are really cool and some of them are so basic. These are not basic. These are amazing. And I love how they kind of ombre from this deep dark pink color to like this pretty lighter pink color so I really like that a lot she has you know for her skin tone she's pink but then as you come down her legs kind of turn into this like clearish blue I kind of wish they had done that for her arms and her hands as well had kind of done the arms and the hands the same type of thing as the legs I think that would be really cute um, but that is her in this outfit that she came with. I'm going to go ahead and dress her up like she is on her box art. And I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so here she is. All I had to do was add the jacket, the earrings, the necklace, and the hat. And then this is the outfit that she is wearing on the box art. She looks really cute. Um, however, like, she looks cute. Her colors are cute. However... The fashion is questionable for me on 
Laguna so far. I'm not a huge fan of the fashion. Love these shoes. But it's kind of just, um, it seems like it's a little all over the place. It's very like limited to justice, like fourth grader little girl getting dressed up in whatever's in her closet for school. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Where I feel like the other dolls are a little more fashion focused. I feel like her, she's not really, I feel like she is really a fan of the environment. <laughs> and keeping our water clean and yeah I I don't love that I don't I can't I can't I don't love it do you guys like it though let me know I mean to each their own there are some things I love and some things I'm just not a huge fan of and I l really like this doll but I, I'm gonna try a few different looks on her and see probably end up putting her in somebody else's clothes I don't know I just feel like the ruffle here with this like sporty type jacket with a baseball hat but then we've got these like fancy shoes that you should wear with like a really cool dress or something I just feel like it's a little too there's too much going on like I'll just compare with we reviewed Claudine yesterday and like it's definitely over the top like the colors all of that but I feel like they they knew when to kind of pull back a little bit and kind of restrain a little bit so it wasn't too much I feel like with Laguna it's just it's a little too, it's a little too much Claudine it works girl it works I look Claudine's my favorite so far but yeah guys, so that is my unboxing and review of the new Skultimate Secrets Laguna. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, where we will be unboxing Cleo, and if you haven't checked out my other unboxing and reviews of the Skultimate Secrets dolls, I'll have them in a playlist for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!